Hi, my name's Dave. During the recent 200,000 kilometer timing belt change on my Altezza, I ruined the power steering reservoir piping. To get another one costs more than buying one that is actually better designed for drifting because it won't spill. Mine spilled anyway. I thought about buying another OEM one, that would be easy, but they spill anyway. So why replace it with one that's gonna spill? So I'm gonna move it over there and I plan to run my lines behind this heat shield. I'm gonna have to space this one as well. We're gonna revisit this setup because I wanna move this further back over there and point it that way. Don't really have a plan here going by the seat of my pants, but I know I gotta get this out of here. So you go down there. Now I need to get that out. Lucky for me, I never bolted it up the last time I had it out. Let's go. There we go. I managed to jerry-rig it into the vise using the bolts on the bottom. We're gonna undo the two bolts that are holding this on and then see what we've got. Most people skip this part anyway. You don't wanna see how I did it. You just wanna see it finished, yeah? If I ever decide to switch batteries, I'll be screwed. Is that gonna hold there? Um, yeah, okay, cool. It was here, right? Now I want to put it here. So I'm going for that sort of thing. I've just been trimming this with the angle grinder and uh, yeah, I trimmed this down a little bit so I could get it closer over here. Still kind of got a wobble in it. Oh, it could be that. Let's try and file that down too. Right, that, that fits in there now. Pretty happy with it. I think any way we look at it, we have to come further forward. I just hope that my bolts are enough to hold this thing up because they're gonna be pretty close together. I could actually run another piece behind it and put a bolt back further back, bolt the two together. That might work, weld it. Yeah, yeah, it's all, it's all getting a bit much, really. I want to do that. So if we could just go a little bit further than that, I'm going to cut it off here. Oh, where I said originally. That's pretty interesting. Should have just done what I initially thought. Once you cut it, though, that's it. You don't get a second shot. You have to make the bracket again. We all know how long that took last time. Maybe you don't know. Maybe you weren't watching. It took a f***ing long time because I overthought the whole lot. A piece of the blade actually broke off and smacked me in the stomach. Stung a little bit. Just giving this a tidy up with the diamond file before we scratch the crap out of everything and cut myself on it. I am once again calling on you to be useful. I just talk shit constantly. Verbal diarrhea. That's, is that where we want it? Sticks out this way a bit much. I might kind of want to go test that in the car because if that fits, I'll run with that. Oh, goodbye. Whoa, that was lucky. We learned this time what we learned last time, which is do not overhang this edge. I mean, this is just, this is just stage one, and we've already used like 30 minutes worth of footage or more. Haven't even fixed the problem I've caused yet. Wonder what it's gonna be like getting the battery in and out with that there. Probably gonna suck. Oh, it's looking for the pencil. It's on the ground. Where everything is in this garage, on the ground. Need a uh, six mil drill bit. Where did the nuts go? One, one nut. Uh-huh. The plastic's getting stuck in the thread. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Are you still... Okay, f I'm just going to brute force it. You're going in. I don't care anymore. There's a whole shitload of available right here. Yep, whole crap load of Oh, that's, um, that's actually really in there. <laughs> I can't even get it to spin. 
I think I only need one bolt. That's not going anywhere. Holy shit. I mean, I'll put another one in because overkill, but it certainly doesn't need it. Battery. Inskis, right. Time to look at power steering. This is the power steering tank that I went with. As you can see, it wasn't expensive. They were not advertised for the Alteza, so I chose this one aimed at R32 Skyline owners. Due to the fact that the input and output pipe diameters match my requirements. There's some wiring under here that I'm worried about. I'm not gonna be able to get up to this hose. It's a bit nerve wracking because if, it's a bit nerve wracking because if this is wrong, then I'm gonna end up with a slot instead of a, uh, an actual hole. Nice. Oh, geez, it's close to the edge. Oh, but, but I mean, close but not touching is fine, right? Battery in to check. Are we still kosher? We still love each other? We do, and we're there. That'll take out enough area for a, a hose to go through and clear, if it's at all possible. Yeah. Well, there's no going back now. Put that down here. Get rid of all that shit. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Get rid of that shit. Turn this shit upside down. All right, now. Now we just hope that it actually works. This is what we've ended up with. A rod coming out of the battery tray. Okay, now we need to space on. Oh. There's welding spatter on here. I'm not sure what day it is, maybe day seven or something, but um, I've got a rod attached to it. We have a hole in it. I'm just gonna pull it apart and we're gonna use some Loctite on it so it never comes undone. We're gonna put a shit ton of this on. I'm not sure how long it needs to go. So yeah, just lots. I never want it to come undone, ever. It's all going on the first one. <laughs> It's okay, it's actually, it's going everywhere, which is totally fine. There is Loctite everywhere in there, so I don't think that's ever coming out, which is good. Over here I've got two pieces of rod, Rod Stewart. Now this one fits inside this one. Why did you do that? Well, I'm gonna cut them to length and I'll show you. If we do it like that, then you can actually see this one. I mean, to be honest, you're not gonna be able to see it, but I'm gonna know, and I don't like that. I want this one and this one to be the same. I'm gonna flip it. Flip that, put it back on again, and then we're gonna tighten this up. I'm going to actually put this on here so that it's lined up to do it up. Okay, so they're the same now. Right, I need to measure this distance here, 58. We can squash it a little bit. Well, it's not exactly square, is it? Both of them kind of bit. Oh, wow, they bend. Right. You can bend them wherever you want them to go. What is it now? Now that I've been bending it, what is it? <laughs> oh, now it's nearly 60. So I think 59 is probably about, right? I got an extra meter for a dollar. I don't understand that. I guess they can't sell the long lengths. Nobody wants this much of it. I don't need this much either, but I'll take the extra material for an extra buck. So 59, you said. Feeling pretty useless. Right, I've got a mark here. I'm gonna use my pipe cutter. Put that in there, like that. Okay, and then that will go on here, like, Ugh. Like it doesn't. It actually it actually doesn't go on there because the end's all messed up. Let's run a screwdriver through it. That'll do it. Or a file. And if you're thinking, oh, I don't have a pipe cutter, I can't do this. You could do this with a hacksaw or a Dremel, no problem. It's just the pipe cutter makes it perfectly straight. But I mean, I don't think it'd really even matter if it was perfectly straight or not if you used a washer. Wedge that bad boy in there. 
and then whack it on here. Just whack it on. Now if I clamp the top and the bottom, it'll stay there. See that? I can clamp it now. I just have to figure out what height I want here. The way I'll figure that out is by completely eyeballing this. I'll get that the same height as the air cleaner over there. Eyeball it about that and then I'll measure it. Get low. How low can you go? A little bit up from there. Oh, about, about there. Oops, that's the wrong way. Use a piece of flat bar and then we can get it exactly right. Let's call it 10. One nut. And a washer I don't care about. 10.1 minus, that's exactly five mil. So we wanna make another rod that's 9.5. 9.5. I'm just going to take this opportunity to mark the same on this one. El Pipo Cutto. Put that on there. Whenever you're ready. Thanks. Now that's a bit, that's a bit wobbly. Let's cut this one. Okay. Just deburr this one. The other end should be okay. But it's not. Deburr this one. Okay, now the bigger pipe, deburr that. Put the skinny one in the bigger one. And then put it on. Now why would you bother with that? Because this edge is not very big. But when you do that with it, it doubles it. Now I've got a nice platform for anything I want to sit on. See that? It's a much better platform for the washer to sit on. Totally not necessary, but I like it. I'm gonna put some, um, some of the old Loctite on here too, because I don't want that to ever come apart either. Oh, geez, just completely miss. No worries, mate. Absolutely hopeless. Loctite super glue, same thing, you know. Gonna put this washer on there, done. Gonna run this nut down. I'm gonna get someone in the comments going, Loctite doesn't work on stainless bolts. I didn't think of that, it might not. That's not going anywhere. That's nice and compact. Excellent. Okay, so now, see that? It sits at the right height. Look at that. Perfect. You can't see what's going on under there. Nobody will know except for you. Oh wait, no, we need to cut that one. Measure that. Mark that out. All right, we're gonna deburr this. Listen. <laughs> it's a beautiful fit. It's a beautiful thing. So we've got a nice solid base. Much better than seeing a nut here and a nut here and a nut there and a nut here. Then we're going to use a piece of this, another piece of this aluminium, onto there and make a stay with a hole in it. You see what I'm saying? So we need another piece of pipe to go up and sit perfectly under this. The heat shielding behind the battery is all falling apart, so I put some new stuff over the top. I'm just going to modify this bracket so it fits better to my needs. Just changed it to be like that. So I've had to come up with a bit of a unique solution for the battery stay. I've just riveted that on there. There's nothing complicated about that. Used a step drill to get that edge like that. Yep, okay. That goes on there like that. That goes on there to the pin that runs down there. This one. Yo. Clips in there like that. Now I've just eyeballed this cross here started off by finding out what the edge was with a marker got that drew a line across and then held it here and scratched the bottom of it transferred my scratch over to this side put it in across and here we are i've drilled my hole put my nut on there there's only one more thing to do and that's to make another pipe that goes underneath this to support it so it doesn't go up and down we'll sandwich this in so i just need to measure that distance there 
with some calipers. There's some here. Why are you going to so much trouble? I don't know, it's my car. Just because I am. Seems like way too much trouble for something that doesn't really matter. Yeah, I know. I noticed that. 2.2 centimeters or 22 millimeters long, then this will be perfect. Let's cut out this tube. Two pieces of tube. Yep, that goes on there like that. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, that dropped all the way out to the ground, did it? This one sucks the most. Getting in here. Look how well this fits. Beautiful. That's probably enough on there. That's probably enough on there. And that's probably enough on there. Oh yeah, solid. Running the small hose is a top-down affair uh, because it's quite tight in where I'm running it and I can't get it in from underneath, so it's gonna feed the whole lot through. I got three meters of it, but I probably could have gotten away with using only two. It's a very tight fit. I mean, with the amount of struggling it, it took to get that thing on there, I don't think it's coming off in a hurry, especially considering this, is, this line is not under pressure. This hose has got this protector on it. I'm gonna take this protector off and slide it onto there and then position it in a nice location. There we go, one of those. She's cracked anyway, look at that. Needed replacing. I want a little bit of slop, but not too much. We're going to there. Protector goes on really easy or does it spoke too soon it doesn't go on that easy probably should have put some silicon spray on it then it'll just slide straight on it's 9.5 mil tube on 11 mil pipe so it isn't easy to get on Cover back on. Uh oh, we're hitting. Where are we hitting? This is as far in as you can see. You cannot see the back. This fits a lot better now. I'm happy with it. I'm always trying to film in places you can't see. Oh, there we go. Bit of power steering fluid everywhere. Beautiful. Hopefully, that'll lubricate the new hose going on. That's on, that's not coming off. And we're done. Sweet. If you know the Alteza really well, there's a spoiler alert here. And here it is all complete. You can see that I've got the main hose going there with two hose clips on it. I've got a different filter on here, allowing more space for the positive terminal. I will note that I had to drill a new hole to get the spacer in the position that I wanted. The bottom is in the standard location. There's the battery bracket. Pretty rad. Check out this video to learn more about catch tanks, how I did this and why.